Could you explain your early trades? I mean while playing? Yes. Just because you ask so nicely and you seem friendly, I will do that. I will do like informative ADC gameplay. I'll be the next cookie low without the, you know, without the sexual part. Just just the information part. Cookie low the goat. What is this guy saying? <clears throat> Okay, so some guy in chat asked how you trade and stuff, so let's see. Versus Varus, it's um, it's a bit yikes, not gonna lie. Especially since he has Hail of, Hail of Lloyds, so I probably won't be trading that much in lane. Now I'm a bit of scared of level 2 gank from Nidalee, so I could maybe go ward, but it is a bit unlikely that she will do that. And you can tell by their movements as well if she would. And I'm not gonna trade with Varus because he has Hail of Blades. <clears throat> I can trade maybe when I have... Yeah. I can just go on this guy. That was bad by me. I should dodge the flay. As soon as Varus uses his E, I think I can trade, but... Now I just wanna less hit the minions. Now I will thin the wave because if they keep slow pushing, they have a time to recall. And I don't want that to happen. It looks like Nida might be bot side now though. Especially with how they're playing. Okay, she's mid now. She was bot side. I mean, it looks like my team is like hard winning as well, so... As soon as I don't fucking int, it should be fine. This guy's really good hooks, holy fuck. Yeah, lane is neutral, I think they go B. It's kind of minion as well, so... We're like even in CS. It's a pretty like stale fucking lane. Holy fuck. This shit is so OP. I will get like two more autos on him and he would be 1 HP and then I get 6 soon as well. I wanna go ward now. With how they're moving, I think Nidalee is probably here. I'll need to cleanse here. It's just so unplayable matchup. Varus is so cancer broken versus Draven. He doesn't even have ulti and he just wins. I guess we got a kill here now though. I should recall. Actually, I'm gonna let it crash. I would want to hold this, but since I'm so low HP, I don't think I can. I mean, if he wants to hold it, yeah. I'll just buy boots. I will lose a bit now because he'll push it. Yeah. I mean, that's 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 not what I wanted. It's that's it's just Rakan's fault, I think. I don't think it's good to to freeze this. We should just let it crash because this is what happens now. Because I need to recall, and if I stay, it's bad. But if Rakan holds the wave and I recall, then Varus can just push it in, so it's pointless. I just can't play, it's really hard for me to get, get go in, like... It's just Thresh. They have like 3 CC abilities to just completely not let me play the game. As long as I don't die, it should be fine though. Really need to cash in. Right, I'm gonna stay for one more wave. I think this guy will recall since he's low. I'm not gonna show yet. No, I'll show. So the reason for that is Varus might be waiting here to see if I recall or not. And if I walk out instantly he might stop his recall, but if I don't show for like 5 seconds he will recall. And then now he actually did recall. Now I have really good back. You know I'm saying all of this and it's just like pointless information because at the end of the day it's just better jungler wins. So I might as well just start running it down, fuck it. I would like to have the wave on my side. Mm, I guess that's fine, I don't need to use cleanse and they wasted ulti. I have two potions ticking. He 
He's dead, I think. Yeah. Um, am I dead or what? No. Okay, well now I can actually start playing the game. And since we don't know where Nidalee is, I don't want to push this in. It's just better to leave the lane neutral like this. And now we're like hard winning bots since I cashed in. I'll just go boots and just insta go back to lane. I don't care about my mana since I'll just refresh it anyways. That's a bit unlucky RNG I think, but it's whatever. Or wait, it's not RNG actually, it's because we're winning. Wait, is this a thing still? What the fuck? How do I check Yeah, the percentages? I think that's how it works, right? When your team wins, your minions are just stronger. Okay, since Nocturne is ulting here, I can just go like this. And there's three people top and there's two here, so this is free tower for me. I can just use W and E to take it faster and be more efficient. <coughs> top dies, which is fine. Wait, I actually get first blood tower as well here. I'm just using... Uh, my Essence River procs to get the tower. I'm backing anyway, so... Even if I take that tower damage, it's fine. Varus is smart letting the minions die before taking the tower. I think I'm just gonna ulti him just to fuck with him, to fuck his tempo on and stuff. Um, because I don't need my ulti right now. I don't need to like cash in, I've already kinda cashed in. And I'll start walking towards him so he gets scared and probably stops his recall. Yeah, so I just fucked with him again. I just wasted like 20 seconds. <clears throat> now there's so many people bot. Is he not here? And since I did fuck with Varus so much, he's not back in lane here. He will recall now. So I can just take this tower. I should just leave when he's ulting. There's no reason to fight him. This guy's TPing. Can we kill him? He flashed. Okay, this guy's TPing again, so we go. Now you need to ping so your teammates know what the fuck is going on. I ulti. I miss she, since she flashes. Oh, it's really unlucky actually. This guy's hinting though. I'm dead here, but it's fine. I did my job. Do I need shield bow this game? They have one AP. I think shield bow would be beneficial. I don't have cleanse, so I can't play as aggressive as I used to before. I need to wait for Pantheon to use something. Oh, he couldn't see me, so it's a bit awkward, but I can just face tank them. Make sure that I don't walk into the Nidalee spear. She might flash on me though, so I need to be careful. I can maybe kill. Nice. That's a bad E, but doesn't matter. <clears throat> I can just tell that this is like Challenger and Grandmaster. Like, if I had Master Team now, they would all be 15 deaths already. Here, I would like to go red buff. I also want mid, but they're going here. So this guy will flash now and I'll ulti. I'm not sure if I hit it twice. Um, this guy's out of position now. Okay, he actually juked me, that's funny. I'll just E preemptively in case she tries to flash. Gotta make sure to not die here. Just stay Nash. I'm looking at Rumble's ulti now. I saw that he has TP. I think we need to try to go for it. I have cleanse up. I need vision though. The 
looks like I can't really kill them. I have shield bow, so I can still go like kind of hard. Where's the next guy? I think I can just face tank this guy as well if he tries to kill me. He will turn on me. Meta! Meta! Take this from my jungler because he's inflated and I don't want gold on my jungler. Here I need to be careful, don't know where any of them are. I don't know what I'm dying to even. But this guy flashed on me and I had QSS so I can actually survive. Here I just need to lifesteal. I should not be chasing, but it's fine. We take Drake here. Well, now my build path is a bit awkward, but I still don't need LDR. I have enough damage. Okay, this guy's just inting it. Is that worth? Well, I'm fucking dead here. Really? I mean, I could maybe Zonyas or something, but don't think it's worth the TP'd. I think it was bad from Karzi, he should just leave, like there's no reason for any of us to stay. And my QSS was slightly... Ah, if my QSS was up there I actually kill... I can maybe kill them. I'm not gonna cleanse this, I don't think I need... Okay, well, I'll just kill this. I can maybe flash on someone, get a kill. We should go Nash. Oh, you are fucking crazy. Good job, man. Just kill this, no? I hit this to keep my axis. What the fuck are enemy doing? Am I dead? Ooh, I almost died, died right there. Okay, GG's. Not a bad game.